The last part of our discussion on the family before we start talking about religion is alternative family forms. Despite the fact that when we turn on the television and we look at a commercial, more often than not, we see a married man and woman with children. So a heterosexual, heteronormative, heteronormative couple with kids. But increasingly, we're seeing a diversity in the types of families across our, our country. So one of the fastest growing types of family in the United States are single parent families. Right now, it makes up about a third of U.S. families, and most are headed by females. Although increasingly, you're seeing men taking custody of their children and becoming single fathers. And then there's cohabitation, when a couple lives together without marrying. This has increased over the years. About today, about 65% of couples live together before being married. Um, and that's only compared to 10% of couples 50 years ago. So increasingly, we're seeing couples choosing to live together before marrying or not marrying at all. And then there's same-sex marriage. So in our country today, in the United States, um, same-sex marriage is legal in all 50 states. But same-sex marriage has been uh, legal in other states too, other countries too, like Denmark, the Netherlands, Belgium, Ireland, and Canada. And today, because same-sex couples can marry, they can also co-adopt children. Whereas in the past, if a gay couple lived as a family unit and they wanted to adopt children before we allowed the legalization of gay marriage, only one of the partners could adopt the children legally. So if they broke up, the spouse without legal custody would have no rights or visitation uh, to the child. So now that gay couples can marry, they can also co-adopt. Singlehood. There are some people who choose never to marry or have children, and that is starting to increase among young women. And then finally, new reproductive technology has allowed uh, couples who are struggling with fertility to have children outside of a intimate sexual encounter. So, you have in vitro fertilization, you have gestational surrogacy, you have surrogacy. So there are other ways for people to have children outside of um, a sex act between a man and a woman.